Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video today I want to share the advantages of fly fishing from a kayak, some challenges that come with fly fishing from a kayak, and how to overcome these challenges to have a more productive and enjoyable day on the water. Over the years I have fly fished out of john boats, drift boats, kayaks, inflatable rafts, pontoon rafts, and even homemade rafts. When I went to purchase a new fishing vessel, I contemplated the many different fishing vessels that were out there. But based off my experience with these different fishing modalities, my personal fishing goals and budget, I decided that kayak would allow me the most versatility for my fly fishing needs and circumstance. I needed something that I could transport easily and carry on or in the back of the truck. I needed something that would allow me to access different bodies of water, lakes, rivers, streams, ponds, and even the ocean. And also needed something that was quiet and stealthy. Although a kayak may not be the best option for each of these particular situations, overall the kayak has given me the most flexibility as I enjoy chasing different species and different environments. However, with that said, there are some challenges that come with fishing from a kayak and a whole additional set of unique challenges when trying to fly fish from a kayak. Challenges such as getting to and from your desired fishing location, holding position once you get there, having enough stability to cast and fight fish and managing your fly line can all be frustrating and challenging, particularly when fly fishing from a kayak. So how do you overcome these challenges? There are three main factors to address that I believe will make fly fishing out of a kayak a more enjoyable and productive experience. Those three things are stability, positioning, and line management. So number one, stability. I like to be able to stand and fly fish. There are moments when I do sit and sometimes when I kneel to fly fish, but personally I like to be able to stand up in my kayak. This allows me to cast in different directions and have more mobility overall. After owning and fly fishing out of several different types of kayaks, choosing the right kayak is important if you want to have stability when fly fishing. There are several different brands that make very stable kayaks. Personally, I own the New Canoe Frontier 12 kayak and it has worked out great for me. If you're interested in why I chose this particular kayak, then check out the link to the video in the description. Before you purchase a kayak, I highly suggest that you test it out on the water before you buy. That way you know if that kayak is going to meet your needs. There are things and modifications that you can do to make your kayak more stable. My very first kayak was a $300 Pelican that I'd purchased from Tractor Supply. I did not have any experience with this particular kayak and after getting on the water I quickly realized that trying to stand up in that kayak was just not going to work. So I made some DIY outriggers and they provided me with some stability that I needed to stand and fly fish. There are also casting bars that will provide more stability during standing. I have the new canoe casting bar for my kayak and it does help when trying to stand and cast. The only drawback that I've found with casting bars is managing your fly line which I will explain further later in this video. When sitting, the swivel seat on the new canoe provides a lot of mobility and is a great feature of the new canoe in my opinion. There are also times when I will take the seat out and use an ice chest as a seat. This can be advantageous at times as it allows me to cut back on the clutter in my kayak and use it as a storage for my gear as well. It also elevates me up on the kayak which allows me to see and cast better. Number two, positioning. Another challenge that can present itself when trying to fly fish from a kayak is trying to get into the position you want and stay there. One of the reasons that I chose the kayak that I did is that it has a transom mount that will allow me to mount a trolling motor. This has been very beneficial when fly fishing in lakes and streams. For obvious reasons, it's much easier to get around on different bodies of water. In some streams, it also allows me to motor upstream and fish and float back down the stream. I've also done simple modifications that allow me to quickly raise and lower the trolling motor. This prevents me from damaging the prop on the trolling motor when coming up on shallow areas or debris. Another challenge can be holding your position once you get to where you want to go. Wind and current can push your kayak all over the place and this can be really frustrating. There are many different types of anchoring systems and poles with each serving their own unique purpose but after trying the different systems, I haven't found anything that works better than an anchor trolley. You can quickly and easily raise and lower your anchor. It also keeps you from having a bunch of anchor line strung about in a tangled mess in your kayak. The anchor trolley has been one of the best investments that I've made for my kayak. Number three, line management. The third and most unique challenge to fly fishing from a kayak is line management. This is something that is not a concern to regular styles of fishing, but is one of the biggest challenges and frustrations when it comes 
to fly fishing from a kayak. In my experience, less is best. Keeping a clean kayak is a must. If your fly line can get tangled on something, it will. One of the reasons that I enjoy the new canoe is a simple and open deck. The more gadgets and gizmos that you have on your kayak, the more opportunities for a tangled mess. Pedal drives may be great for regular fishing, but fly fishing with pedal drives can be frustrating in my experience. There are things that you can do to manage your fly line. You can lay down a towel, a mat, or something similar to lay over the deck, which allows your fly line to pull on a clean, even surface. You can also use milk crate or fly line baskets to collect fly line. Although this works, I don't find myself using these baskets and crates as they tend to limit my cast and strip. Laying down a towel or mat has worked well for me in the past, but the biggest takeaway is just to keep a clean kayak. This also includes storing your rod properly. Another feature that I like about the new canoe as well as other kayaks on the market is the rod holder. These can be great for storing rods and protecting your rod. New Canoe also makes a fly rod dock holder that can be handy depending on the length of your fly rod. Fly fishing from a kayak has opened up a lot of opportunities for me and has been a great way to catch more fish and just have a more enjoyable day on the water. I hope this video helps you experience that same enjoyment. If you have any questions or other kayak fly fishing tips, let me know in the comments as I would love to hear them. Thanks for watching and have a great day.